welcome back. This is uh, a demo video uh, illustrating another pedal. Uh, and I'm going to walk you through some mods that I did to the circuit. I'll explain the circuit a bit. Uh, and then you'll get to listen to them. Uh, the pedal is a clone of a Univox Square Wave, uh, which is a pretty nondescript fuzz from, I guess, the late 70s. Uh, it was in that series of Univox pedals that had the sort of cartoon uh, foot on them. There'd either be one or two knobs on it. Uh, this uh, version had two knobs. Here is the uh, circuit schematic of the pedal. Um, I'll get to the pink stuff momentarily. Uh, looking at it for a while, I realized it was basically a fuzz face at heart. You can see there's the two transistors and there's the feedback path from what would normally be the emitter back to the base of the first one. And there's a small value resistor here and the, uh, an electrolytic capacitor from the emitter to ground that uh, sets the, uh, the game more or less. Uh, the output comes uh, through an electrolytic cap, and unlike a fuzz face, um, there is a pair of uh, clipping diodes, uh, normally germanium ones, and then it has a kind of odd tone control here uh, that basically has a, a capacitor which always lets the high end through. Uh, and a variable resistance here, uh, which lets various amounts of uh, bass through. So basically, it's a, a bass cut tone control as opposed to the uh, more common uh, treble cut tone control. And then it goes to the, uh, the output volume control. Now, this tone control, I guess it was their attempt to do something uh, simple and cheap and different. It's terrible. Uh, it basically gives you variations between a mosquito-like sound uh, and a fairly uh, snarly uh, fuzz sound. So only part of it is really useful. Uh, I've done a couple of mods to, to the circuit. Basically, what I've done is I've installed a switch, a toggle switch, that selects between either a pair of germanium diodes or another pair of uh, silicon diodes in the same location, or else lifts the diodes entirely so that you get something that's much more like a traditional fuzz face sound. Uh, I'll also uh, draw attention to the fact that unlike most silicon fuzz faces, this one uses an FET in the second transistor position. So again, slightly different sound. Uh, what I've also done is I've replaced this good-for-nothing tone circuit with a more traditional uh, treble cut. Uh, only what I've done is I've just installed a three-way toggle switch here uh, that either provides a straight, straight feed-through uh, or a treble cut or else a kind of a, an upper mids and treble uh, boost. So I'll give you uh, a listen to it here. So that's the straight sound. I'm playing uh, an old Epiphone coronet with a, a P90 in the bridge position. It's a homemade battery amp, uh, so you're not going to get a whomping bass out of it. Uh, you can see the speaker is not particularly large. Okay, let's turn the thing on.
straight bypass or straight uh, feed through, and this is a bit of mid range lift. You can hear it's pretty aggressive sounding. Okay. Same thing, silicon diodes. It's time to gain, gain down. This piece, this speaker doesn't really have a whole lot of treble to it, so I'm sure it'd be much. Uh, harsher sounding, have more bite uh, in a conventional amp. But it's a nice, uh, robust sound. Okay, here's a kicker. This is no diodes. And like a fuzz face, Turn your guitar volume down. It cleans up a bit. Let's turn the volume up. Now this sucker is loud, let me tell you. Without the diodes, it's loud. Bypass. Engage. Box square wave modified.